It's like me sitting next to you while you revise going, have you looked at this bit? Have you done this bit? Have you seen this command word? Have you converted your unit? So it's basically having me with you every time. Revision guides have been the same for years. They haven't really changed. And I don't know why revision guides are like that because they're just kind of like short versions of textbook information and then you have to buy the workbook um, and honestly some of them aren't great so what I've done what I've done and a lot of other people have done is we've been working on this really big project to make a great revision guide and even calling it a revision guide isn't doing it justice because it's more than a revision guide. These books are the reason I've not been putting out videos recently. As you can see, these are massive and took a lot of work, but that's because to make something this awesome, it does actually require a lot of work from a lot of different people. So if your school is trying to sell you revision guides at the moment, don't listen. Unless, unless they're talking about these ones, then do listen. But if they're trying to sell you the, the cheapest ones on the market or the ones that they've always gone with because, well, that's what they've always gone with, then why should they change? Just, just stop and don't buy them. Go and get these ones instead because these are such a revolution in the way that you revise. It is really, really going to make a big, big impact. Now, everything in here is evidence-based, which I know you guys don't really, really care about, but basically it means instead of just doing stuff in a certain way because we've always done it, we're changing the way we do it to do it a better way based on what the research and the evidence have told us is actually better. So in these books, for every single topic, there is a knowledge organiser. So a double page spread with all of the information that you need on two pages so if you're kind of like trying to remember the equation for something or if you're not really sure about the definition of something or you can't remember what this picture looked like it's all right there in front of you so you don't have to trawl through loads and loads of pages when you're trying to write for a topic test or when you're trying to write for your exam it's all there in front of you sometimes when you've got a really really big revision guide and it's got loads and loads of pages in there it, it can kind of be a little bit overwhelming you know don't know where to start and flicking through all the different pages to find a bit of information that you need can well it can be a little bit off-putting that's why everything is here on two pages right in front of you now there are loads and loads of questions in here as well but they're not just all one style questions there are short retrieval questions so you open your book you get a bit of paper put it in place and then you answer the questions and then you remove the bit of paper and all well, the answers are there as well this is not a test this is revision looking at the answers isn't cheating you are allowed to look at the answers now these retrieval questions are just short facts like what is an iron what kinds of elements form iron bonds what charges to ions from group 1 and 2 form? Stuff that you've got to be able to recall quickly in an exam. Not stuff that you've got to work out, like a calculation, but just stuff you've got to be able to recall really, really quickly. And doing these once, that'll be fine, that'll be lovely. It is not going to take you very long to do these. Maybe five minutes, maybe less. So you can do these more than once. So you don't just have to do them once, think, tick, I've got that, and then move on, never look at that page ever, ever again. These are supposed to be quick questions that you go back to and maybe the first time you'll only get half the answers right um, straight away. Maybe the second time, maybe you'll get 60% of the answers. If you do it two or three times, by the end of the revision period, by the time you get around to your exams, hopefully you'll be getting them all right. Now the best way to revise isn't just by focusing on one topic at a time. If you want to make sure all of those facts are properly in your brain, you need to go back to other topics and revise other things. We've made this really, really easy for you because, well, we've put them right here for you. These are, again, short facts that you should be able to recall and just know straight away. But because it's not the topic that you've just been covering, it might be a little bit harder for you to get those facts straight away. And well, that's okay, because this isn't a test, this is revision. And the idea of revision is you start out not knowing stuff and then you slowly learn more stuff as you go along. There are worked examples for the practicals, there are worked examples for the math skills, with a few things for you to try and answers for you to go and check. And then there is the slot. 
Now, some of your teachers might have been using this term already, some of them might not have been using this term, but it basically means shared load of practice, which honestly is the best way to revise for your exams. Loads and loads and loads of practice questions. This is the main bulk of the book, and especially for the combined science, these books are quite hefty. Look at how many pages that is. Unlike other workbooks, which were written like books, before we knew the new style of exam, before we'd learnt the lesson, we have learnt our lesson from previous exams because I don't know how much attention you've been paying to the other years but when the exams threw things like carrots or axolotls in or beta blockers which you know aren't on the specification but it's all about the context. We've learned that lesson and loads and loads of these questions in here are really really reflecting the new style of exams so unlike the other ones the old revision guides which were written with the specification or old workbooks which were written in the specification and kind of like came out they're much more reflective the old style of exams whereas i can't even call the new style of exams now because this is the third year we've been examining them so the other revision guides the other workbooks haven't caught up yet but we have we are now storming ahead of all of the other ones because these questions are written for the new style of exams and then the whole way through these I've written hints and tips is basically like me sitting down next to you while you're doing this and saying oh have you thought of doing it that way and oh have you paid attention to this part of the question or oh did you notice that that's worded a little bit funny? There's probably something the examiner wants you to take note of. There are hundreds of questions in here for you. And these are all exam style questions. So it's basically like getting an exam paper for every single unit that you're going to do. But again, because the best way for you to properly cement knowledge in is by mixing stuff up and changing stuff around, that's what we've done. We've added a few unexpected questions in there. These books truly are a revolution in the way that you revise. A complete change in absolutely everything. Um, you can get them from Amazon or if you get them by your school you can get, I think it's a 40% discount. So when your science teacher, when your head of department hands around that form and says, you know, fill this in if you want to buy the books from the school at a discount. Turn around to them and go, actually, I want to buy these other ones. You need to contact your Oxford rep and um, get them at the bulk discount. So, yeah, I'm really, really proud of these. Um, I and lots and lots of other people have been working so, so hard on them um, because we truly want you to do really, really well and we truly want these to make be absolutely amazing for you and... Um, help you revise so that's what I've been up to guys um I mean this is just another way that I'm going to be there with you every single step of the way every time you see these boxes just imagine me sitting there next to you helping you with your revision